Stanley from Denworks. Hope you guys are having a great day. This is a really cool truck, 1972 F-250 factory high boy, four x four Sequoia brown metallic with white or uh, Wimbledon white. Um, just a really cool truck. Matching frame, VIN stamped on the frame, VIN on the door. Um, so this is the real deal. All original paint, except the hood and the cowl. It was repainted there a long, long time ago, but really, really cool truck. Bought brand new at Bud Meadows Ford in uh, Portland, Oregon. Always been an Oregon truck. And you'll see it's still got the original Oregon plates on it. So just kind of a survivor type truck. Original interior, does have a dash cap on it, but uh, seat hasn't been replaced or anything like that. Sure, it's got its little quirks and, and little things, but it's a really cool factory high boy sport custom. And uh, this is gonna be selling no reserve here on Bring a Trailer. Um, we are dealers here in Oregon, so it's sold as is, no warranties expressed or implied. So we're gonna do a little walk around, show you different things. If you've got questions, give us a jingle, make comments, or you can hit the uh, contact seller bar. So anyways, thanks for looking. And this is a really, really cool high boy.
I'm gonna do a little uh, cold start here for you. I'm gonna feel the exhaust there. It's not hot. Um, overall, runs pretty good. It's got a 460 in it. You can see there, came originally with a 360. Up here, the aprons are all in pretty good shape. You see the core support looks good. You see a lot of surface rust back there in the cowl. You can see there. Definitely the hood. The hood is original, but you can see here it's got definitely some rust going on on this original hood. So if you're lucky enough, you can probably find an original hood uh, to put on here that's white already. We actually bought a truck, same color, but truck's too nice to take it off. But anyways, we'll do a cold start. You can see here, it's got L&L &L, um, stands down there and new motor mounts, which we put on. But again, I'll touch it and I will try to do this. Come up here, make sure it's uh, the neutral. Been there, done that. That's kind of fun. You can see that I'm gonna pump it. starts right up usually but sometimes it takes a couple times and I suggest not pushing on the gas until it warms up a little bit but sometimes it will shut off and fog down and you gotta restart it but sometimes it takes a couple times before it can start but it's obviously started today. I might push on the gas a little bit. I shouldn't have done that. Well, sitting there idling now, but, um, yep, I shut it off. So, shouldn't have done that. I'll start it up here again. But I wanted to show you it revving and stuff. Okay, now it's back on. You can see the temp gauge. You can see the oil, oil gauge there, too. Um, it's not reading real high and the temp gauge doesn't up, go up high either when it's warm. So, but this is a 77 engine, so they might not be communicating together. Um, they could have a little bit of a low oil pressure too, but I don't hear any noises or anything like that. It doesn't blow smoke. Engine sounds really clean. Might be able to hear a little bit of an exhaust leak over on this side. You can hear an exhaust. Leak. So, anyways, hope that helps a little bit uh, for you. 